Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the whole situation with Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott breaking up. I know a lot of you guys have wanted my opinion on this. Now, I always felt like there was something going on with them. As far back as this summer, when they went on the whole Netflix thing, when he premiered his show on Netflix, talking about, hey, mom, I can fly some shit. Look, mom, I can fly. Something about flying and his mom, okay? So they were on the red carpet. He's dressed in brown. She's dressed in white. And I remember a lot of the comments a lot of people were saying is, why does he always look down? Like, his eyes are always on the ground. Like, after a while, when I would see them together, I'm like, I look up, brother, so I can flash this camera flash in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if your nose starts bleeding and shit, and you start screaming, get out, get out. Because after a while, he just started looking like the dude from Get Out. Like, his eyes are just always on the ground, and... I don't care what event they're at. It's just weird. Like, he just can't make eye contact. You know, and even the documentary, I watched it. I couldn't even finish it. It was just, I, I didn't like it. It wasn't my favorite documentary, but that's a whole nother video, okay? So that kind of didn't sit well with me, the way that premiere went, the pictures. And there, I remember there was even a video where it seemed like the paparazzi had to tell him to be more affectionate towards her. And then he goes and he grabs her butt. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just seen that video. So, of course, it was announced this past Monday that Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, who is many of y'all's relationship goals, not mine, but many of y'all look at them as relationship goals. A lot of y'all were sad and depressed on, you know, Instagram. I do follow Kylie. She's one of the few celebrities I do follow. I do enjoy when she posts stuff. I like, you know, her baby's adorable, and she always has, like, really cute clothes and shit. So, you know, I do follow Kylie, and... You know, a lot of people commenting on her Instagram post that they're sad and, you know, please work it out with Travis and, you know, you guys are our goals and, no, oh, no, you guys cannot break up because, you know, you're supposed to be with somebody forever because the internet says so. So anyhow, I kind of felt like it was official when this weekend Kylie popped up on my Instagram feed and she was in this beautiful gold dress. And I'm like, wow, she looks gorgeous. Where we going, sis? I ain't got shit to do, so I'm going to follow you around Instagram. So come to find out, she was going to Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin's wedding. They got married this weekend. Congratulations to the lovely couple. Um, I do like Justin Bieber. So they got married this weekend, and she ended up going to the wedding with her mom, her mom's boyfriend, the one with the big hips, Corey, um, her daughter, and then she hung out with Jaden Smith, who is one of her ex-boyfriends. So I found it strange that she was with all these people, but Travis was nowhere in sight. I'm like, well, where the hell's Travis? So at that point, I think a lot of people putting two and two together. Like, something's going on here. You're at one of the biggest, you know, celebrity weddings. And Travis Scott, who's your, you know, baby daddy and boyfriend, he's not with you. Why not? You know, that's like the perfect time to have somebody with you at a wedding. So that started sparking a lot of rumors. And then people started putting two and two together. Like, well, damn, she really hasn't posted anything concerning Travis Scott since about late August, early September. And um, we just haven't seen Travis Scott on her damn Instagram at all. So it finally was announced that the couple has split and they split amicably. It wasn't like anything crazy or nothing like that. Some people are saying that Travis cheated. They're saying that's not the reason. And then it was announced yesterday that Kylie was secretly hooking up with Tyga because they were spotted in the same location. We all know Tyga was her ex-boyfriend. People then started spreading rumors that, you know, that they broke up because DNA test results came back that Travis Scott, you are not the father of Stormy and that she was running back to her real baby father. So it was all types of rumors just being spread through these Instagram streets. So obviously Kylie Jenner got tired of it. So she took to her Twitter and Instagram today and this is what she posted. Travis and I are on great terms and our main focus right now is Stormy. Our friendship is our daughter's priority. The internet makes everything a hundred times more dramatic than what it really is. There is no 2 a.m. date with Tyga. You see me drop two of my friends off at a studio that he happened to be at. 
So that is what Kylie Jenner had to say. But we all know in this world of celebrity and this world of, you know, the Kardashians, nothing is by happenstance. So I'm sure she knew Tiger was going to be there. But that does not mean that Tiger's the father of Stormy or that her and Tiger were fucking. You know what I'm saying? The media and social media like to run with shit. But I do feel like she knew Tiger would be there and she knew the paparazzi would be there. Then it's just another headline for the Kardashian Jenner clan, okay? So this is what else is being reported. So TMZ is reporting this. Kylie Jenner's split from Travis Scott wasn't a result of a cheating scandal or a blow-up fight. They were simply done in by a harsh dose of reality. Sources close to the ex-couple tell TMZ that their decision to break things off came weeks ago following a very long honeymoon phase that was full of love, touring, going on vacations, and of course, raising their daughter Stormy together. We're told after Travis's Astral World rap and the two got back from Kylie's lavish birthday getaway, everything slowed down and they were confronted by the grid of a normal life and things felt different between them. Simply put, our sources say they fell out of love. All right, so that is what the TMZ sources is saying. And what I find really just disturbing about that is, you know, so... As long as they're apart and doing their own thing, they're fine. But the minute they have to come together and do just normal, regular people shit, like, you know, actually live in a home together and, you know, pay bills and, you know, actually cook. You know what I mean? Just normal stuff. Do normal laundry and, and you know, just the normal day-to-day of being a human being in a relationship. <laughs> now you guys are falling out of love. So when there's not people there waiting on you guys hand and foot and feeding you grapes and shit on lavish vacations and, you know, taking care of your laundry and, you know, a nanny and all that stuff, you guys are fine. But the second you have to, like, really be parents and live in a household and, you know, not vacation and live in this fantasy world, now it's too much stress and we need to be apart honey I just I, I can't I can't that, that gotta be some celebrity shit because I, I just don't get it I don't get it at all but you know what as long as they can co-parent and get along and not disrespect each other and be there for their daughter that's all that matters and being that it wasn't a really scandalous breakup I'm sure they'll be back together like within like two three months you know what I'm saying maybe they just need a break right now but I mean if you're breaking up because now we're in the house and we're just looking at each other twiddling our thumbs that's kind of weird okay it That's just kind of strange. So, of course, with all that being reported, the Internet and the Kylie Jenner stands could not resist trying to dig further and basically find out the so-called real reason because they weren't satisfied with TMZ's version, okay? There has to be something salacious. There has to be some type of drama. So this was a conclusion that many people came up with online. So if you guys don't know, Travis Scott was accused of creeping on Kylie Jenner with his ex. Um, His ex-girlfriend is a university student. Her name is Rogine Carr. So not only is she a student, she looks to be an Instagram model of some sorts. You know, she sits in front of the mirror and takes pictures of her tits and ass so kind of going down this same Kylie Jenner role pretty girl but nonetheless people have been saying that Travis Scott cheated with her and um they have proof so one of the proof that popped up online is the fact that if you go onto her Instagram she just so happened to be in the mountains skiing there's snow she has a heavy winter jacket But looky, looky, look who else happens to be in the mountains. And I'm like, where the hell's all this snow at? They must be in Big Bear or something. But there ends up with the picture of Travis Scott. He too is in the mountains around snow and trees. And he has on a big winter jacket. So people are like, okay, how much of a coincidence is that? That she's there in the mountains trying to ski. He's there in the mountains trying to ski. So so obviously they must be sloping each other, okay? You know how the internet works. So, um, of course, people started attacking her. So then there was also a screenshot of a comment that she left four weeks ago on Instagram that people are also using as an aha, Travis cheated moment, okay? So somebody says, Travis got to upgrade your wigs. They're too chunky. He's too rich to have you looking like this. She replies back and she says, I don't wear wigs. This is my natural hair. But she never denied dating Travis or, you know, being his girl. So a lot of people are saying, well, why wouldn't she deny that first? But she can deny not wearing wigs. (laughs) I swear y'all kids just kill me, honey. So then after people put those two pieces together, she was getting drugged this weekend. So she finally came out to deny it. Um, This was on Sunday. So she came out and she says, none of these rumors are true. It's just the internet creating false narratives. Please stop spreading lies and leave him, her, and I alone because it's affecting our real lives. Thank you. 
So that's what she had to say. So then, of course, Travis was also being drugged into this. People were calling him a cheater. They were going in on his Instagram page, demanding that he go back home right now to damn Kylie Jenner and his daughter Stormy, or else. I'm not saying you gotta go back there this minute, but you gotta go back. I mean, it's the only way. You gotta keep up appearances. Yeah, you have to do the right thing. You have to go home to the family, you understand? You gotta go home, okay? Look at me. You gotta go home. So basically, Travis had to come out and address these lunatics as well, okay? So this is what Travis Scott said. It's really affecting when you see false things said about you. Once again, these false stories about me cheating are simply not true. Focusing on life, music, and family at this moment is what's real. So Travis Scott is definitely tired of it. Kylie's tired of all the drama. This random ex-girlfriend is tired of it as well. So that's what they're saying. That's all three of their story and they're sticking to it. Supposedly nobody cheated on anybody. They simply just grew apart because they had to do real shit like real people. And, you know, once they weren't on vacation and the honeymoon phase was over, they decided to separate. But at the end of the day, Kylie has let it be known that she will allow Travis to, you know, be around Stormy and see his daughter. She'd never keep his daughter from him. So I think they're going to have a good co-parenting relationship. But it's sad that they couldn't at least have made it down the aisle because I know Kylie wants some more children. I don't know if Travis does or not, but I know she definitely wants more kids. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire breakdown concerning the whole Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott breakup. How do you guys feel about this? Do you feel like the internet is doing too much and they need to fall back and let these people just, you know what I'm saying, deal with their relationship? Or do you feel like Travis is lying and so is Rogine and that they're messing around? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And most importantly, hit the bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.